Churches keep making the same mistakes when launching a ministry. My clients went from launching by themselves with very little growth to launching with a team with continual growth. The difference is understanding that there are three phases to launching a ministry, and I wanna share those with you right now. Phase number one is the pre-launch phase. A solid foundation is crucial to launching a ministry. Imagine if rockets tried to launch off of dirt, or imagine what if rockets tried to launch off of an unstable platform. The effectiveness of the launch and the forward projection starts with a solid foundation. Building is the key to the pre-launch phase. You're building your team. Who is gonna be your main leader for this ministry? Who is gonna be on your leadership team? Who is going to be on your launch team? You're building a program. What needs are gonna be met? How are you going to meet those needs? What will your ministry look like? And you're also building your visibility. How are you gonna advertise your ministry? How are you gonna use a website? How are you gonna use social media? How are you gonna use texting? I help the church lay a solid foundation by challenging them to look at their pre-launch strategy. I wanna show you some of the things that we talked about. There's a link to the worksheet that I'm about to show you in the description below. As you look at this ministry launch plan worksheet, you'll see a couple of different things. First, you'll see, you know, you need to identify your leadership, which we talked about. Then your foundation, what systems are you gonna have in place? What are your core values? What is your vision for that ministry? Then education, what are you gonna teach? What curriculum are you gonna use? Then you go into the communication aspect. And before you launch, if you look at the middle section on the second row, it talks about practice. You should launch your ministry with your leadership team first. Show them what the ministry is gonna look like. Then after you've launched, soft launched it with your leadership team, then launch it with your launch team and get feedback from them. And then the third step would be to invite specific people to come and experience it. And this all happens maybe three months, four months before your launch date so that you can get an idea of what needs to be changed, what's working, what's not working. And then finally have a soft launch. Before I move on to the next phase, if you are launching a ministry and you are needing help, S3 Ministry would love to help. Down in the description box is a link to my email. Shoot me an email. I will get back to you as quickly as possible to explain how S3 Ministry can help you launch your ministry. The next phase in launching a ministry is actually the launch phase. This is what you have been planning for. This is what you've been preparing for. This is what you've been training for. This is what you've been advertising for. It is launch day. Imagine going and opening up the door and looking out there and seeing this huge line of people waiting for your ministry. Impacting is the key to the launch phase. You're impacting through an environment. So you're wanting to touch the senses of the people that come in. How will you make them feel welcomed? How will you make them feel like they belong? But you're also impacting through an experience. What need are you gonna meet through your ministry? And how are you gonna meet that need? How are you gonna make truth relevant to their daily lives. Next, you're gonna impact through connection. How are you gonna connect with them? How are they gonna connect with your leaders? 
How are they going to connect with each other? How are they going to connect with God? And finally, you're impacting through an exposure. How will you let them know what to expect if they get involved in this ministry? How will you let them know what your ministry focuses on? A church had a ministry launch that was three times larger than their average Sunday worship service. It was truly amazing to see the fruit from the hard work that this launch team put in and it was represented by the smiles that were in their faces. I want to draw your attention back to this worksheet and I want to highlight some of the things that we talked about on the launch phase. On the launch phase, you want your environment to be high energy, welcoming, inviting, personal. You want the experience to be need driven, relevant, transforming. And you want connections. You want connections with your leadership. You want connections with your ministry. You want connections with God. Then the next phase is the post launch phase. This is where you can take a deep breath. But the launch isn't done yet. There's still follow up to be done. Imagine sitting with your team at a table. And in front of you, spread out on this table, are all of these connection cards that has people's names and address, phone numbers on it. How will you follow up with them? What is your plan? What is your strategy to follow up? Communicating is the key to the post launch phase. First, you're communicating gratefulness. You're thanking them for coming to your event. But when will you thank them? How will you thank them? You're communicating your weekend service. How will you inform them what your ministry will look like this coming weekend? What is happening in that ministry this weekend that you want to let them know? How are you letting them know how they can get plugged into your ministry? You're communicating your next big ministry event. I worked with a church that developed a follow-up strategy of what we were going to communicate, when we were going to communicate, and how we were going to communicate. Once again, I want to draw your attention to the ministry launch plan worksheet. Your next steps is you need to have a full out follow-up blitz, all hands on deck, everyone's writing, everyone's texting, everyone's calling, whatever your strategy is, everyone is involved. And it's a good idea for you to contact them within the first 24 hours, thanking them for coming. An important part of launching a ministry that a lot of people forget is the evaluation. About two to three weeks after you launch, you should sit down with your launch team and evaluate your process and your event. What worked, what didn't work, what would you do different? Comment below if you are thinking about launching a new ministry or relaunching an existing ministry. Now that you've learned the three phases of launching a ministry, the next step is asking the right questions before you start a ministry. Watch this video right here where I ask and answer some of the necessary questions before starting a ministry. Thanks everybody.